welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ishia Farms. I hope everything is going well. Life is treating you good. If you were watching the last episode, if you've seen that, you saw at the end of it, I kind of screwed the pooch. And somehow I dropped a giant silo right in the middle of this. It covered up my trailer, covered up my seed. Well, I ended up going back to the last game save, which was right as we were starting to harvest our grapes. So it wasn't too bad. I just had to re-harvest the grape field and sell it. I think I might have even harvested a few extra grapes because it looks like I got a few extra dollars out of it, which was pretty nice. So I guess it was worth the effort. Our fields are looking good. Let's, uh, let's pull up the map real quick. So we are sitting with seven, eight, and nine. Let's go to where we can see. They're ready to harvest. Our newest, not our, well, our only alfalfa field here, 22, 23, and 24. It is ready to go. So we've got that harvesting to do. That should bring us quite a chunk of change. Now, what I also want to do, this is our new grape field over here. You can't really see it, but the purple right there on the end. And it shows that it needs plowing. Well, I can't plow it because I can't replant the grapes. So I think I'm going to try to do the next best thing. I think if we come through, we spread some lime on that thing, and then we also fertilize it. I think that's going to give us our best chance to get a good yield out of it. That's the only thing I can think of to do. I'm not sure if uh, lime is going to make a difference. But if it is, I say let's do it and uh, see what we can do. See how it goes. I know that we've gotten, uh, out of the last harvest, we had about 43,500 liters. I went ahead and wrote that down because I wanted to see what kind of yield increase we get. So hopefully we see a substantial increase in profits. That's what I'm looking for. Now, with all of that being said, first thing we need to do is I do not have a harvester. We need to go in, and I've already been looking, and I think we're going to go with the new mod of the new John Deere, which is right here. The 9600 or the 9610. So let's go into customize. And all right, we have now see what I don't like already is they're charging you extra money before you even get started. I think that is a crock of poo. I like, I think I like the Midas there with the big old fatties. Big old float tires on there. That kind of, this thing looks short, stout, and just kind of mean. That's what it looks. I have to say, this is a very nice looking mod. I like it. I do. I do. Now, the engine setup, we are at, see, and it, uh, it already charges you extra. So, I think we need, it's a little underpowered. I think we need the bigger motor. Let's go. We're just going to lease it right now. We could buy it, but I, uh, I think I think we just need to lease it, or do we? Leasing's kind of a waste of money. If I buy it, then let's buy it. Let's do it. Oh, that hurts. Do we have? Oh, we do not. I don't think have enough for the header now. We just need. I think. Okay. Need, I was going to go with just a 9 meter header. Let's see. Where is... No, that's too big. There's a 9 meter. Goes 15. I think that's the one we want. 58,000. Ooh, okay. Let's do main color here. That's not John Deere. That's... Ew. Okay, let's do a John Deere there. No, go stop it. No, go back. It won't. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, John Deere. Rim color. John Deere. And it does it again. 
Gosh darn it. Okay, so we're going to try this again. John Deere. John Deere. And John Deere. There we go. Buy that sucker. All right, let's, let's head back and let's go pick it up. And here's the beast. I have to say, this thing looks ridiculously good. I love the way it looks from the front. It just looks low and mean. Those big old fat tires. All right. Let's take this thing back up here. There we go. All right. We are off and running. We're going to head to the field and see what we can get done. And here we are, ready to make some money. Let's start off with a nice little headland here. Get this thing all wrapped up, taken care of. This is what all canola, isn't it? Yes, it was supposed to have a little bit of soybeans in part of this guy. But, that did not happen. Whoa, my goodness. Good driving, man. Nice and steady. <laughs> I lift her up. Trying to stay out of the neighboring field there just to be kind of courteous. All right. Now, I kind of mess with the brake force on this thing. And it's a little... Uh, a little tweaky. I think I may need to go back and put it back where it belongs. I thought I would make the brakes better, but I think I've had the opposite effect, which is generally the way it goes when uh, I get into the trying to mess with the mods a little bit. See if I can improve them. I'm not smart enough to to do it right. But hopefully, maybe one day, I'll know what the heck I'm doing. I doubt it, but maybe. You know, give it a shot. You keep uh, throwing things at it, see what sticks. Now, we should make a pretty penny off of this. I mean, it's been fertilized to the hilt. It is. I think this one was, was this one limed? I can't remember if this one was limed or not. I don't think it, well, I mean, it was at one point in time, but I don't think it was before this harvest or before, uh, once this crop was put in the ground, I mean. All right, so let us get the headland ran around this, go do a couple around the bottom here, and I think that should be plenty. And then we will be able to rock and roll and get this thing just pounded out rather quickly and go from there all right there we go headlands are ran let's go ahead put a worker on this and then we can run and grab our uh, man truck there and uh, see we're gonna need to unload this guy very quickly and, and ta-da there we are isn't this a man truck Oh, wait. This is not the man truck. Ooh, it's a lizard. Sorry about that. Rut row raggy. I need to get my equipment straight here. Don't be calling it the wrong stuff. I'll get my butt in trouble. Let's go, let's go. I do like this little truck. It, uh, it boogies along real nice. Looks good. Does very, very well. All right, we will be at the field in just a flash. And like that, here we are. And of course, it's full, but we kind of knew that was going to happen, didn't we? All right, let's just pull it right up.
like that. I don't even know. Well, I like that we've already got over 10,000 meters. But while that is, well, there we go. There we go. Well, that's unloading. Let's take a quick look at what canola is selling for. Well, it is dropping. I hate that. So it's at 22 and dropping at the port. But it's at the grain vault going up. So we may not be able to sell for a little bit. Well, and I don't have any money to buy a silo. So we may not be selling in a little bit. We may be selling right now just because I have no know where to put it and I have not been able to find a decent place to put my silo and right now I don't have any money so unless I take out a loan which I've been trying not to do we are not going to be able to buy a silo hmm quite the quandary isn't it it's quite the quandary do we take out a loan or do we sell our product for a little less than what we could normally get out of it? Oh my. We're going to have to think on this one. Either way, what I really also would like to do is I need to get the grapes taken care of. I really was planning on starting the grapes to get those limed and fertilized before I started the field. But that being said, if I try to uh, to do that now while I'm doing the field, it's just going to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. It's not going to be uh, very productive for either way. So I think we're going to hang here and get this field taken care of. I might fire the worker and just do it myself which doesn't sound like a bad idea and once we get this field done then I think we're we are gonna run over and get the grapes taken care of I do not want those to jump into another uh, growth state before they've been fertilized in line so I'm gonna sit here with this guy or take over one of the two and we're gonna get this field pounded out Alright, unload number two. I guess it is now time to decide what I am doing with the crop because this should fill up my truck for the most part. And now we gotta figure out what do we do? Do we sell at a lower price? Is that what we do? What was that again? It was like two. Twenty-one. Oh, twenty-two. Alright, I think that is it didn't quite fill me up, but that's pretty good. All right, I think we are heading off to the port. You can see off in the distance I had my uh, lime spreader. I went ahead, uh, went and picked up the lime spreader, rented that, got some lime put in that pig, and uh, we will go ahead and spread that on the grapes. I do not know. It doesn't say that it needs lime, but usually I don't know. I just think it does. So we're going to line the darn thing. I've already bought the line. I would plow it if I could, but you just can't plow the grapes because you can't replant them. So I suppose I could plow them. I would just have to put a different crop in the ground, and we don't want to do that. should be, what, 45? Whoa, oh my goodness. All right. There's some money. Oof. I don't think I'm going to be rich. But uh, we will be able to breathe. That will be good. I'm hoping to get another full one of these out of there. That would be good. Bring us back up to around 90 grand. 
if not over a hundred. Look at that, what is it? Forty-seven five. Sweet. That is very, very nice. Alright. Let's head back to the field. Keep our worker working. See if we can get that guy done. Then we'll get our grapes taken care of. And then we will start looking into this alfalfa field over here. Oh, busy trying to look at my alfalfa field. All right, let's get her done, man. I wanted to let you guys know, this combine, the 9610, this thing works like a dream. It is extremely nimble, turns really well. It just handles, uh, I think, extremely extremely well. I am very, very happy with this guy. It looks good, works well. Now, I don't know if uh, how it would work with a better, bigger header. We've only got the, I think, the nine meter header on this. I'm pretty sure that's what we have. Now, let's, let's I say that. Let's double check and see. Yeah, nine meters. But it uh, it works really well with that. It just goes. Looks outstanding with those big old fat tires on there. I like the floaters. They just give it a different look, a different profile. Not quite the duels, the mean look of the duels, but it definitely gives it a nice little kind of low squatty look. I like it. I do. I do. And just like that, we are done. Let's raise that guy up. Find our truck way down here. Now I put one in there. One load, that is. This will not quite fill it up. Whoa. There we go. That wasn't too bad. It stopped pretty good. Wasn't sure for a second. Shut her off. A little quietness. Except for the sound of the grain going into the truck. All right. And is it? Is it? How much are we gonna get? So we're gonna get about another thirty. I don't know, thirty something. I would say less than thirty-five. But that's still gonna bring us up to right around ninety thousand. And we have the alfalfa field, and I am not really 100% sure what I'm doing with alfalfa. From what I gather, you can make bales, or I'm guessing sell it loose. And I will be selling it loose. I think it's ready to rock, isn't it? It, is... it was ready, 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 growing. Now, I don't know if it's like grass, where if you let it uh, go to the, another growth state, do you get more product off of it? Or is the first growth state just dandy, like normal crops? I do not know. But it looks, I guess it looks like it's ready to go. Like I said, I have never played with alfalfa. Are going to well, I don't know about we, but I hopefully am going to learn something from this. This little truck has a definite unique sound when you take your finger off the gas. Right, how much are we going to have? Money is going up, up, up. Nice, uh, seventy thousand. Are we gonna hit the big 9-0? Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh, look at that. 89-913. So the answer to that question is no. We are not going to hit the big 90,000. That's okie dokie. What you gonna do? I think we did good. I do, I do. So now, let's head back, hop into our fin fendant. I think that's what that is. Oh my goodness, did I forget the name of my tractor? Oh, I 
it's like sacrilege to farm sim, I would think. That's bad, bad news. Uneducated farmers, that's no good. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's go up here. Let's get our lime spreader and see if we can get our grapes taken care of. Well, I am not really sure what the best way to do this is. There's no good way. We should be able to maybe fit right down these without squishing them too much. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm missing some. Go, go, go. All right. There we go. It is taking it, so that's something. All right. We are going to drive up and down, trying not to squish the grapes too much, but we're going to have to do a little squishing, it looks like. Turn, 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 turn. Come on, baby. Come on. I think we can handle this. And it looks like it's going to go fairly quick. There we go. Turn up onto the rocks and down we go. Too many new fields. Holy cow, I'm doing grapes, alfalfa. I've never done any of these. All right. And you notice it's not getting every little speck of where it's uh, looks like it's been planted. See the ends there? And I know that I've gotten those, but it just doesn't uh, doesn't get them for some reason. Or did I not get them? Now I think I'm going to have to go back through, see if I can clean up some of my mess here. If I'm missing parts, I don't like that. Now see, I know I got that end one there. Let's scoot on over, scoot on over. Let's see. Does it get all of them? No. No, it does not. Okay, here we go. Let's zip right here and see how this does. Oh, that seems to do pretty good. Glad grapes are uh, resilient. They don't mind some tractor running all over them, which is good because I am uh, I am definitely doing that. Let's go up and around. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Gosh darn it! Look at that. I see another one. I missed. Ah. Curses. I don't like missing stuff. We'll go back. We'll get it. I won't be able to handle it. My OCD will kick in. And I'll have to make sure everything is taken care of. So, alright. Let me go ahead and get this all done. And then we are going to move on to the alfalfa field. Good times, good times. I am not really sure why, but it's definitely liming these fields very blotchy. Look over there. I mean, a whole bunch of spots, and I'm not missing those spots. I'm just not. Now, over here, I that little to the right of me, I think so, but I don't understand why it is leaving little spots here there and yonder I did not do that bad of a job at Lyman Fields but look even there it leaves spots where I just was 
So I'm having a hard time deciding whether I missed it or it just isn't isn't getting it. But I figure we will do the best that we can do. Sorry, fella. See that whole line there? It just went down it and it didn't lime it at all. But we will, uh, we'll hit it again just to make sure. I would rather uh, use a little bit of lime versus, uh, and not need it then not use it and do need it so all right that is wait no stop that Get back in there turn that thing off there it is ready or not it is done now we definitely I was gonna do the alfalfa but I forgot I need to fertilize as well so let's go drop this off grab the fertilizer spreader and I think think it's got some fertilizer in it that would be sweet and then we can get the grapes completely to at least one fertilization will lime act as a second fertilization state I am not sure so if we fertilize it will we get one or two fertilization states hmm. you know I think we will soon find out all right, let's drop this guy off real quick. Whoop, you didn't see that. It was not supposed to crash. It was just supposed to slide there really nice and be kind of cool looking. Well, <laughs> that's my cool factor right there. It just took a nosedive. Right, row raggy. Look at that. We don't have a full tank, but we have, uh, I think, enough. You darn thing, you weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to. That's what you were supposed to do. Jeez. You were supposed to just slide to a stop, all nice and cool like. Oh, gee whiz. All right. Let's head back to the field. Get it done. Okie dokie. Now, the good news is, is we shouldn't have to worry about that lime now we won't be able to see it at all anyway now it looks at least all consistent and even all right so i don't think it's going to take us more than a minute or two to zip up and down these fields and get them all fertilized so let's take a quick look here i just want to see uh fertilization state what oh it doesn't tell us at all does it wow okay i guess we won't know what that's going to do for us and not do for us shall we assume that it's on or that it's all fertilized or should we try to come back later and pop some more fertilizer on it. Maybe when it's in the next growth state. I guess that's about all we can really do, isn't it? If you assume that it is, then I mean, well, then there you go. But we want to try to get the highest yield we can. So I would, I would think that that's what we'll do is once this growth state is well we're into the next growth state we'll come back down here and see if we see any difference in color as we fertilize that sounds like a plan but other than that i think let's uh let's go ahead and just get this thing wrapped up take care of and there we go Look at that pretty looking great field. Very nice. All right, let's go drop this thing off and then head to the alfalfa field. I am uh, I'm a tad bit excited about this to see if I can figure out hopefully I do it right. 
I don't want to end up uh, screwing it up. That's for sure. Try not to. Well, as they say, find something you're good at, stick with it. And I'm pretty good at screwing some things up, that's for sure. Oh, sorry about that. Just hit the corner of that crop. Gosh darn it. All right, I'll meet you at the harvester. Okay, so what I gather is that we just do a straw swath and we pick it up with a loading wagon. So let's enable straw swath. There we go. Lower it down. I don't know that any of it actually gets in. Uh, okay, I, I guess it, some of it does get in the harvester. Uh, I get. Do we end up with a straw swath as well? So we get crop and we get a straw swath? Hey, I kind of like that. Uh, no pun intended. Hey. <laughs> Alright, that really wasn't that funny. But <laughs> oh, yeah. I, well, I crack myself up anyway, so I can't help it. Okay, but turn, 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 turn. go I like the looks now does this field regrow or does it not regrow I I don't know maybe we will leave it for just a little bit and see what we get out of it because I don't know it might regrow that would be pretty cool I would like that It's very satisfying to uh, to harvest, though. It's a lot like cutting grass. It's just it's so different from one state to the other. Maybe that's what makes farm sim so gratifying. It's just the whole, as you make that nice straight line, it's just very, very satisfying. All right. With all of that satisfaction, Fine stuff going on. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and finish your headland here and uh, see about getting the worker over here going because we are almost full. And I think we're, when I looked the last time, we were getting right at $2,000 per thousand liters. I like that. We should get, if we've almost got one tank full, which would be, whoa, we do have one tank full now that I just dove right into that. Alright, let's open that up. Okay, you can stop now. Yeah, shut the engine off. Hop in this guy. I think what I want to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to get our trailer. Do you think we can make it? Come on, build up some speed. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. No hill for a stepper right there, by golly. No problems at all. Okay, back it up, back it up. Back that thing up. Alright, there we go. Let's head down there and uh, get that thing unloaded. If I don't crash and die there. Let's just take the road. We don't need to jump. Whoa. It's a little tight through here with all these trees. I'm trying not to crash. Alright, I'll see you in a second. Okie dokie. Now, let's take a quick look and see what are we getting for alfalfa. There we are. We are getting from the port 2000. Edge grain vault doesn't even support it. I would assume that the cell point 150 would not as well, but I do not know. I still would like to have one of those put down somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, there we are. Okay. Let's pull this guy out of the way. I think over here in the grass would be better. 
That way we don't block traffic. All right, let's get in. Drop it down. And I don't know, I think we should be okay with just one headland ran across here, shouldn't we? Not gonna be enough. Let's go ahead and just run one more over here. We've got to go over here anyway. Well, I'd prefer to go over here to start just because it's the square side of the field. And then we can put a worker loose on this guy. And all we have to do is cart. So if we're going to get crop to sell and like a grass hay that looks a lot like a grass this could be quite profitable now I wonder if you can do no you probably can't do oh I, I am not renting a pelletizer anyway I think we've tried this already oh that was on a small field alright there we go worker is set crop is going up quick sweet all right we're gonna let him do his thing and then we will just make sure we will be the good boy a boy's job is to make sure that the the worker stays working and that is our job as the boy is to make sure that his harvester is emptied and going well my girlfriend hates that term the boy but it's not meant as a derogatory comment it's meant that there's a specific job that the boy has to do on a job, and that's to keep the the worker going. Usually the boy is the lesser skilled, but you better be hustling if you're going to be the boy. That is a fact. I don't mind when I'm the boy. Take your job seriously. Always take your job seriously. That's the way to go. Anywho, that's enough of that. All right, I better hop over in my tractor already, or my truck. Get this guy taken care of. Gee whiz, that was fast. Uh-oh, I think he's going to be on the wrong side here. Can we sneak in there and get it unloaded before he takes off? <laughs> I was thinking he was going to stop. Uh, no. No, he's not going to stop. So now we just got a tail around here. And there. Now he's full. Thanks for that, man. That's some hot, steamy stuff there. That, that is sweet, the way that thing just... Really good turning radius. All right, so let's uh, let's get this guy empty, get the helper going again, and we will just try to keep up. I think we are going to get both trailers filled without any problem whatsoever, and we might even get the truck filled again. Oh, he missed the spot. Horn found it. All right, I think it's the port. Isn't it the port where we're going? And da, 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 the port. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's see what we're gonna get. Well, we should get about eighty-four thousand out of this, right? Something like that, I think. That's gonna put us back up there. We should end up really close to about. Uh, 200,000 by the time we're done with this and that's not even counting the uh, I guess it would be grass that we're gonna get from that I would assume that's what it's going to call it which maybe it should be windrowed and sold as hay or do I have if I have a silo somewhere I could make some silage 
I do not know if we have one. There's got to be one somewhere on this map, right? So that was 43. Oof. And here it goes. Here it goes. 43.5. Very nice. This has been a very, very profitable day so far. And the good news is is it's not over and man that truck unloads slow very very slow all right come on what are we at look at that crap that is awesome we are definitely going to be 45 whoa hey we can't forget a trailer very nice i don't know what that little uh artistic stuff is in the back of the truck. Well, that's just where. That looks like one of those ink blots. What do you see here? <laughs> what is it? I'm always afraid of those. I'll answer it. They'll block me. Oh, oh that's nice. Run into the gas tanks. That's safe. That's real nice. Blow us all up. Maybe I shouldn't have been texting and driving. Huh? Don't do that. Why is he back? Again, I'm busy staring at my <laughs> worker over there going, what is he doing? And, uh, well, maybe I should pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing. might be time for me to take over. I think it's a little bit out of the helper's range. It's skill set. Fire the worker. I was really confused. I thought I was in the... No, get over here. Go away. Now, quit it. I want in this guy. Sheesh. It wouldn't let me. I jump in and think I'm in the harvester. Got being in the track. No, I don't want to be in the track. There you go. I have to say, I want to thank the gentleman who referred... Who uh, requested that I do alfalfa because that was brilliant. Now that wasn't because it just left a huge lot, but that's okay. I think we can handle it. Field looks so neat and so tidy up until the time I got behind the wheel of the tractor here, and then it looks like that. There we go. This is only going to take a second. Then I will run over the rest of the field and we'll see, make sure that nothing is missed. I love that steam that comes off of it. That's just a really cool effect. Come on, drop it out. Oh, yeah. One more little swipe. Turn, 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 turn. Almost one little swipe. One little swipe plus a little bit more. <laughs> and there we go. Out. 
so. Yell that. Yell that. Are we going to break the 200,000? Oops, sorry about that. Bump my dang mind. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. we're going to because we're at two so that's going to give us like 30,000 about 30,674 should be about what we get all right let's just see now go truck go that little metal grate thing there. It is bad news. Right? Let's see. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we're at 90. Oh, we got it. We've got it. Way over. Well, I wouldn't say way, but quite a bit. Without any problem, what'd we get? 31,801. That is nothing like what I said. Oh, I was not counting for the change in the alfalfa, right? Yeah, because I wasn't counting for the 73. I was just doing the double. And there it is. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do as far as picking up that grass. I would assume that is considered grass, not hay. Because hay would need to be uh, tetted, I think. And then it would be hay. But we got considerable of it either way. So, alright, we need to get uh, this stuff back to the farm. And we need to get ourselves a loading wagon. That is what we need to do. So let's uh, let's get on it. Well, we're sitting here at the uh, tractor store. Well, I guess the everything store. They sell it all here. They got no people working, but they sell everything. Funny how that works. But I was checking the time on the video, and I think we are past our our length that we should be at. So I'm not going to be able to get the uh, grass or hay, whatever comes from the alfalfa, I will soon find out, taken care of in today's episode, but I will most definitely have that in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and as I always say, please let me know what you like, what you don't like. I'm just trying to turn out a good product. With that being said, have yourselves a great day, and until next time, see ya!